Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give you a DIY presentation of the mini power poles that I made for my son's kayak and uh, explain kind of how I built those, why I built them, and the materials and, and things that I used to build that. So if you'll, uh, if you'll come here, I'll show you uh, the things that I use. Some of this stuff I actually had was uh, already had on, on hand. What I have here is an inch and a half uh, angle iron aluminum a one inch rod or one inch width rod if you buy the eight foot it's a lot cheaper uh, i bought several 36s but when i decided that i would go ahead and buy the uh, eight inch i uh, went ahead and got the job done i bought myself a, a just a bag of bolts these are four inches long and then i would cut them down they're five sixteenth uh, half inch head here um, this particular pan uh, type uh, bolt here it's roughly about an inch inch and a half these are some things i already had i use those i'll show you in the video as well bought a box of uh 5 16 locking nuts that's very very important uh trial and error so definitely get the nylon locking nuts for that but these are 5 16 as well also had some self drilling screws uh, metal to metal these are three quarter inch um you would not even need anything any longer than that but if you had something longer and you want to cut them off it's it's no big deal but these are three quarter inch bought some one inch square tubing over at lowe's again if you want to buy the eight foot or ten foot joint uh, that's all you'll need per pole so uh, if you're going to build two of them you'll definitely need an, an eight foot uh, piece of that you can see how it's real thin it's not real real thick and thick right and um this particular piece here is a four inch by by two inch angle iron that I had that I used to mount them to the kayak. Uh, that is something that I would probably change. I would possibly come in with a little heavier duty thickness as far as uh, angle iron. You could come, it would not have to be the four inches or you could use some type of, of C channel or a two inch piece of square tubing now that I've built this. But uh those are basically everything that I used. Um, also, I had some progressive autom automotive 12-volt um, uh, cylinders here. These are the PA14-8-35. What that's saying is that's the part number, 8 inches, and then these are 35-pound actuators. So we'll get all into that here in a second. But uh, overall, turned out pretty well. Uh, we'll make another video of the actual drift paddles that I made those were something that was also not uh, not real hard to build at all but overall works pretty well it's run off a 12 volt battery and um, we'll get into that here in a little bit but the biggest thing that uh, or where I started with this was I went out and I uh, my son wanted some power poles so I thought hmm how do I do this so I had some aluminums kind of started with that again this is four inch by two inch and uh, we bolted those to the to the kayak and i went over to lowe's and bought some stuff one thing that i did find here that i had to do was this uh particular piece right here you can see that i actually have two angle irons here and this is that inch and a half by inch and a half is getting these bolted on where you want them um after i did that you can see here a little bit of trial and error through through all of this uh and I used some, a bunch of washers uh, for spacers. I also used some washers to help uh, strengthen that up as, as needed. But another key factor that I found and that I had to change, uh, another piece of uh, aluminum that you'll need. This is 2 inch wide. And I think I bought a 36 inch piece. And that was plenty. So if you go out and you buy an 1 8 foot uh, uh, square tubing, 1 36 inch 2 by 2 inch width by 36 and then if you have an inch and a half angle iron and then uh, what I bought here is another piece of two inch and help sturdy it up. But I would change this if I was redoing it. So just something to be, be aware of. But uh, you started right here. Uh, basically right here I took this. This was uh, roughly about three inches in, in uh, length. Bolted it to my angle iron here. Made me some down runners. This piece right here, I have two pieces of one inch square tubing this was a key factor here that i had to had to figure out how to attach this mechanism here that will actually rotate and everything and um because your poles here what has actually happened you see here i have this line 
this pole that's closest to the front of the boat is actually shorter in length than the one that goes to the bottom here. So you can see there that there's roughly almost six inches in, in difference here. They stack on top of each other, but it has to have that particular uh, thing or it will not will not work, believe me. Uh, took a lot of head scratching and to get that. Also, these two pieces here kind of have a, about a 45 cut in this in this section here. I use some self-tapping screws to, to hold this together and then the bolts and I run through as far as that. Um, but that was a definitely a key uh, key component. It took me a little bit of uh, head scratching to figure that out. Uh, looked online at power pole uh, shallow water anchors and said, hmm, there's something to this. So uh, after a little bit of research and just kind of sitting out here in the shop working on it, it took me a minute to, to figure that out. But these poles here, they're roughly 30 inches in, the, in uh, length. Um, you can see here that we also uh, had to kind of mirror the same uh, angle down here along with the pole up at the up in the middle and also up here at the top we'll get in here this is another one of those head scratching moments that uh that took a little bit of uh, time to figure out but uh you can see here that i missed the hole and uh now I have that but i'll come back and fix that later it's, it's no big deal so as we continue here the again these are 30 inches in in length this is roughly around six inches just depends on really how you want to do it. Guys, this uh, this is built uh, uh, off of a uh, little chop saw and a drill. Um, nothing is 100% precise and, and um, just was out here in the shop having a good time, uh, enjoying the day. So you can see here that uh, how it, how it uh, it's not uh, it's not perfect, it has a few imperfections, but overall it, uh, it does real well. Here is something that I had to figure out how to get my actual actuator away from uh, the two poles due to the, the width and due to the way that the thing was breaking over and uh, operating here. I made myself, uh, this is a piece of uh, one inch, I'm sorry, one inch. Uh, I just made an L in it and then I had to attach it to that as well. They're pretty strong. Uh, overall, I can't really complain. Up here at the top, now this was something that was uh, real fun to figure out. Uh, I originally had a one inch strap here, but I needed something a little bit wider to give myself a little bit more meat uh, to, to uh, attach this uh, rod here that's actually holding what this here is, is a 36 inch, half inch stainless steel all thread. And what I took is I went to Harbor Freight and for three dollars and i think it was 99 cents i bought a box of uh shrink wrap and i shrink wrapped uh, you can get it there get several in a box and i shrink wrapped it and then i put the extra piece down here just to kind of as it goes in and out of the out of the uh, ground and different things and but that's a that's a half inch in diameter all thread but this one's stainless they didn't have anything other than that it's at lowe's so that's what i bought uh Here's how the drift paddles connect on to the uh, unit itself. These can, can completely come off, uh, but I'll get into that in another video of how I actually built those. But you can see here, this unit here, uh, this was some of that stuff that I had to sit here and, and cut and recut and, and all that. So if you got a, you know, you might buy an extra uh, 36 inch piece just to kind of use because you will mess up. Um, again, this is not all precise cutting. It's just a little bit of a uh, head scratching along the way. So um, I believe this section here is about five and a half inches in uh, length. And then I use those bolts. You can see here that there's a lot of bolts. There's washers and different things that are actually uh, uh, holding this this unit here actually does not move i mean it's solid so the only thing that really kind of moves is is right in here i uh, use this and it's this is loose so when it when it comes down it actually is kind of vertical it's not perfect but it's it's uh does the trick kind of gives you an idea of really what what all is going here you can see there's the l bracket that i built again use some self-tapping screws wallowed that one out a little bit so i had to get a little bigger screw um but uh if you you know it took two um it's pretty sturdy uh, you can see there how i built uh, where it's not really connected it's connected in here so this right here actually is not fully solid solid tight but it has a little bit of movement um 
Made a little transducer portion there attached to it for the trolling motor, but you can kind of see here that again, um, how everything's kind of bolted together. Again, this portion has the two inch, and then this is an inch and a half angle iron, one inch, one inch square tubing. And uh, maybe I can get it down there, you can kind of see, but again, this is not, these are not the same length. It actually has a little bit of a taper right in here. Not a full 45, but, but pretty close. Um, so overall it, uh, it works. It does the job. Uh, he likes it and, uh, I had fun building it. So, um, now he won't let me ride in it. Uh, one of them hardly ride in the thing. Tells me it's his motorboat. I got my own boat. You can see it there, but, uh, we'll see. I'll have to, uh, ground his little rear end and then, uh, then I can ride it some more. Originally had my, my actuator out here lined up. Um, that will not work. It does not work on the, uh, parallel, uh, in line. It has to be over to the side. Well, the drift paddlers messed me up, but it definitely has to be over to the side. Um, this is something here that I had to have that spacer. So this is a square tubing and I have that bolt run and then I kind of bend it over a little bit. And anywhere there was a long bolt, I uh, took that uh, saw and just cut them off. That's one I need to, need to kind of chop off. But um, again, uh, if, you, if you just have your box of different kind of length bolts, but uh, you definitely will, will uh, uh, have everything. Here's kind of how it's again connected and attached. It's a steering. But every, every side is the identical as far as design. There's not really anything you had to change except one side has one actuator, one, the other side has the other actuator. I'm gonna turn it on here, so uh, stand by with me for a minute, and we'll, uh, we'll get them to work here. This is all run off of uh, a battery box power for the Yak Attack. Uh, you can see here they have it wired. Um, wired over here to a this is a control box i gotta get him a new uh turn knob here but this is the uh momentary switch so let's see here and it's i mean it it lifts it it will lift the boat up here it there it clicks whenever it gets up there um, I'm pretty sure if you were somebody a little different in electrical, uh, you could probably change that switch and everything up, but have it to where it actually has a, a start and stop there. Something that uh, I just took a lead by what they told me at the customer service desk, but two all threads you see there. Here's the drift paddles. Works pretty good. Does not, uh, does real well. Uh, I would say probably these are in length would make you go down to around five foot of water um give or take a little bit you know depending on the how soft the bottom is but uh there it is folks it uh i had a fun build hope this is something that you can take from it and uh do real well with uh, appreciate all the kind comments and appreciate uh all the feedback i've gotten some good uh, a couple guys uh had some nastiness to say but overall that's part of it so I appreciate you watching the channel. I appreciate you uh, liking. I would uh, really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. We uh, enjoy making these little old videos. We're having fun out here at the farm. We, we call the farm at my house. And um, we enjoy fishing in outdoors. So shoot straight if you're out hunting. Uh, tight lines if you're fishing. Always uh, enjoy taking them youngsters and older folks uh, fishing. You never know what type of impact you're going to have. But we appreciate you watching. Uh, look for the video uh, for the drift paddles. They're real easy to make, but I'm going to definitely put a different one on there as well. So overall, guys, uh, take care. Have a good day.